Hello, 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 hello. Okay, good. Okay, so today what I'm going to be doing, after maybe getting Spotify to work, um, is I'm going to make an armature for a teeny tiny octopi. Let's hope this playlist still works. I'm not going to be on too terribly late. Um, I'm thinking my cutoff is going to be about 2 to 30. Um, the next 30 minutes are yay, yeah, yeah, well, we'll wait for that to finish. Um, just because, uh, oh, I have other stuff I'm going to need to do. But uh, today is going to be an armature making day for a little octopus. So now that we've done potato cat, we've done the slug, we've done the one-up mushroom, I have a couple more of these I want to knock out. And then um, I'm going to be sending a whole bunch of stuff out in the mail. So... I'm going to work on doing some armatures. Um, what uh, what I use is, uh, this is literally just hardware, this is hot wire actually, um, because the, arm the armatures get completely covered. I don't mind just using whatever I can get, so uh, this is going to be, this is, this is literally just hot wire. Um, this is what we use to make the electric fences um, around the farm. So I kind of take what I can get. Um, somewhere around here, which is what I was originally looking for, is I have jewelry wire, which is a much thinner gauge. Um, but I think for this I'll be okay just getting the armature done for the octopus because I think I want it to be a little more, um, a little a little easier to, to mold with. And because this is a little bit thicker, I think it'll put up better for continual bending. And I need my phone to stop going to sleep so I can see if there's a chat or not. There we go. Can we behave, please? Phone's gonna be like, no, no behaving for you. It's like you're plugged in, don't go to sleep. Alright, cool. So, um, first things first is figuring out what I'm gonna be doing as far as little octopi. And uh, I'm going to pull up a reference in just a second. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking for the size I'm going to want this, I'm going to probably want uniform legs. And then I'm going to probably go ahead and just wrap these in um, some regular yarn first. So I'm going to pull some stuff out, um, kind of get a general idea of how this is going to go. Oop. Well, I might have to grab my, uh, there, to grab my other pliers. Phone, seriously. But octopi have pretty big heads. So I want to make sure, and this, this, the only other drawback of using the, uh, the field wire is it does have a, there's, there's a lot of, um, stuff that'll rub off. I should probably go get gloves, but I'm not going to because I don't feel like it. I'm thinking I should probably make these legs longer though, just because as I'm thinking about this, I'm realizing that when this gets covered in the uh, in material, I'm just gonna base out I think a head first. I might just go grab my uh, my jewelry kit to see if I can find a few more pliers. So I had needle nose, and then um, hubby uh, hubby borrowed my my tool kit because <laughs> it was closer. 
I'm hoping he put all my stuff back, but I don't know if he did. But I need to probably grab a pair of needle nose pliers in a second. Let's see here, scissors, scissors. Doink. <laughs> okay. Well, it went flying. Now I gotta find it again. Or I guess I
Okay. Well, I guess I'm starting over anyway because dumb. Dum 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 dum. That's okay. I wanted to get a uh, a reference octopus octopi. so bizarre and pretty but weird oh my god it's adorable Ugh, it's so cute I had to show you all now I had to show you how cute it is uh, save image desktop No, 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 no. There it is. Open. Look at it. Look at how adorable it is. So, probably something along these lines. There's a whole bunch of variations. I'm just trying to kind of get an idea of the basic shape to start with. Oh, that's the coolest hoodie ever. I gotta stop looking at these. I'll be looking at stuff all day. Oh my god, he's so cute. Alright, what we're going to need, obviously, eight legs. Going to need to be considerably longer than the rest of it, so. And very flexible. So, let's see what we got here. So I want the entire thing to be not that big, because I'm trying to keep everything sort of in the same size range. So, because everything needs to be kind of within like this, like this, like two, it's up there about two, three inches. Um, that means that at most, it's going to be a larger spread than the other ones, but height wise, it's going to be about here. So, if it's got that little head thing going on. Let's see. So the armature for this guy is going to probably have to be, well, this will say it's going to be a smaller, probably be, bot, head's probably going to be about the same size as the owl head. And I'm thinking they're going to have to be probably about this long. Yeah. Because so I think, I have a feeling our, our legs are going to have to be about here. So there's one. I'm folding it three. Four. Alright, so there's the first four legs. that right no it's actually five it's one two three four that's five Oops. well that just snapped anyway One, 
to we'll save this pieces for a bit. Ah, this stuff's a little more brittle than I thought it was. Hmm. I had to rethink this if it's going to be a little bit more brittle than I was anticipating. Okay, so no, it's gonna be. It's okay, I got an idea. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do with this then. Let's make sure that it doesn't overbend in the middle. So it means I'm gonna have to slightly reinforce. trim it back a bit if I need to. Four. Okay. This is going to be a little bit tricky with actually needle felting because i got to be very, very careful. Very, 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 very careful. I'm trying to remember if they got... I think, I think they got like... Okay. I know these seem like really long legs for right now, but they and they are really long for right now, but that's because the uh they're going to be shortened up quite a bit. See, this is going to be the, the head, I think. I think our legs are going to actually start closer to here. So let's pinch these here.
so I'm, I'm wrapping it around at least once just to kind of give it a little bit extra strength and also so that they don't um, immediately pinch back in on themselves too, too tightly. I want to kind of squeeze this together a bit if I can. I need to find my needle nose is what I really need. Oh my goodness, meow. Oh my goodness, meow. Cat wants to come in. So there's the beginning of this one. And then just to get this little head built up a bit more. Oh, I think I might see if I can weave some of this just to... Of that bubble head. I have to be extremely careful when I actually start felting this because I'm going to totally snap like all my needles. I'm going to break so many needles on this project, it's like not even going to be funny. It's like, and it's not, it's, it's really not going to be funny. At least they're cheap on Amazon. pliers. I don't know where they are. Meow. Meow. Oh, it's like we ate all the food. Feed us again. Like, but I just fed you. No. Lies. Sunny. Okay. Oh, let me see if I can get some of that. Uh, some coral. Start stuffing. 
Yeah, this will work. Alright, so next bit up. Oh, and I was supposed to shear sheep today. They're going to be pissed at me. I'll have to try to do that oh, like Thursday now. Oh my goodness, kitty cat. I'm just going to wrap this and I'm going to start wrapping these legs. But first, I want to get this. Oh my goodness, Sonny. very carefully start locking this in. And this is going to be a little bit slower project because there is so much armature in here. I don't want to snap a needle, so I'm going a lot slower than I usually do. Yeah, even going slow I'm hitting this stuff, so... Goodness, kitten. That's ah, almost a shame to use some of these locks, but no. <laughs> Meow. Meow. Oh, goodness, Sonny. What is the problem? You don't know what the problem is, do you? You just want to be in here because the door's shut. I'll let you in, but don't eat the rabbit. Do, 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 do. 
Okay. Okay. Otherwise, we're gonna continuously whine. Okay. Did you ding? Okay, well, it, it dunged for some reason. I don't know why. Oof, man, is like the heat on like extra high today? Hey, Tofu! How have you been? How's work going? Yeah, a tiny, tiny octopus. See, it's, um, I got the armature, and now I gotta wrap the legs in yarn. Um, I think, uh, Bench and Needle was doing something similar the other night with her armature. So I decided to kind of try that technique this time. And then um, I'm going to keep adding on top from there, but I got to be really careful because there's so much wire in here. This teeny tiny octopus, and then the one after this one is going to be a jellyfish, and then I think I'm done with that grouping for now, and I want to move on to a couple different projects. Um, just randomly searching needle felting on Twitch. Meow. Meow. I just let you in. I'm not going to let you back out. Yeah, so, um, 
I was just looking to see who else was doing needle felting because it's it's not the most. We I mean it's starting to pick up now, but there's not a lot of us. <laughs> well, it'll be um. It'll be small. It's I'm trying to keep them all about the same height because I want to try to keep everything in that like two inch ish. But the thing with the octopuses is they they got so much leg going on there that um, you got to kind of make them a little bit longer. <laughs> but for me for me these are still pretty tiny. I mean my um uh my size stuff is I think any, any three inches and under I, I still consider a small piece. running away. Oh no no the legs are totally not but when it when it's standing up it'll be like you know that about that high total. Hey Gamma! How are you been? I know I haven't been on in like forever so I figured I should probably do something today before I like don't ever get on ever again. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, I need to hold you down, don't I? You can come up here, but I swear if you claw me again and draw blood, you're leaving the room. I still haven't forgiven you from your launch pad from yesterday. My small orange jerk is here. Let me... And he's gone. <laughs> I know we need to play some thieves. I need to get the that code stuff all worked out. It's just it's been so darn busy. I really need to is, is get B-sides moving because I'm getting nervous. But yeah, finals week. Yay. Uh, is it gonna be? Oh no, I'm totally changing the color tofu. Um, it's gonna be because uh, you know octopuses have that that weird ability where they like can change to all different colors. So it'll probably be really similar because th this is for Nagi. So I did um, the potato cat for kittens and the uh, brain slug is for mini burger, and I'm doing uh, this one for Nagi and I'm doing a jellyfish for talk. So, um, it'll be uh, similar to her, her octopus, which is, uh, it's really cool. It's like an orange, like a neon orange, and I think it's got like a purple belly, but um, I'm going to do kind of a very, a couple different variations on that and probably make it molted. So I'm going to, I'm going to do some experimenting. That, that's, most, that's what all these for. These are all experimental um, things just so I can, I can test some new techniques. Oh, yep, you go drive home. Be careful. Huh, unless you want to drive south because we're going to a maker fair tonight at uh four ish. So if you if you uh head this way you could get to my house by three and I'll take you with. They're doing it out down at Crane. Wow in VR. I need to see the wow in VR. Oh yeah, G Gamma and I are in the same um uh go to the same community college, so if he if he just you know, just you know, just just head south for like an hour, it'll be fine. <laughs> we live at like opposite ends of the, the counties. I'm like I'm in the I'm one one county south of him and he's almost the next in the next county from the county north, so we're I think we're both about 
three miles from our from the respective border of where of, uh, of where the school's at. So we're just like opposite ends. But yeah, Gamma's got the vibe, which is like amazing. Oh, Maker Fair. Um, oh, and you got tons of stuff in your in your area if you're still in that kind of New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts ish area. Um, a uh, a Maker Fair or Makevention is where you get um, a bunch of people together and they make stuff. So uh, this is going to be for 3D printing, programming. Um, they may have some crafts. I know uh, we do uh, Makevention happens uh, yearly in Bloomington. Um, all, the, all the different groups have them. It's usually like hacker spaces and stuff put them on. And uh, basically a, a hacker space is kind of like a community crafting and creative area. And what it is is you can, you can pay and to buy in or you can come and, and uh, pay to play. And they'll usually supply you the equipment. So they may have like actual rout routers and Dremels and 3D printing robots or, you know, all kinds of, of different equipment that, you know, you may not be able to afford at home, but it's publicly accessible. So if you want to try to do some stuff or learn something new, you have access to it. And it's usually a group of hobbyists and professionals that come together. So if someone wants to learn, um, you can ask them questions and they'll totally help you out and train you. So. Do you have lots of fair and area? We have um, we have a lot of engineers in the area, and usually where you have hobbyists and engineers, you'll have a lot of like um, like maker fairs and hacker spaces. So Blooming Labs has a hacker space. Uh, I do hackers on the farm every year, and that we we kind of do something similar. Um, mine my event tends to be more focused on like uh, we do uh, ham radio and survival stuff, and a lot of um, food prep. So we tend to be a little more casual foodie, but people also bring their hobbies and we like share, um, we share knowledge that way too. So it's fun. And apparently I'm going to get a couple of my goats back, which I haven't told hubby yet, but I'm, I really miss my goats. So, um, I may take a few back from Lee just because he's got himself in over his head now. And I had my break, and he, he he was able to use the milk while he, he needed it, so that's that's good. So then, then they'll get to come home. How much does it cost to enter? Well, it depends. Um, the the Bloomington that's put on by um, our uh, hacker space, um, it's a suggested donation. So it it I mean they it'd be nice if you could give them five or ten bucks, but it's otherwise free. I mean you don't you don't need to. Um, because they want they want people that you know maybe can't afford it to be able to participate um, for the actual hacker space attending the meetings is free using the equipment um, there's a member member price and non member price so if you're a member it's it's a lot cheaper because you're you're obviously paying to help them year round with the upkeep but uh, mainly it usually just comes down to cost of materials so they're providing and maintaining the equipment but um, they will charge you a little bit just for like, you know, because like 3D printers need, you need the plastic and stuff. And so they'll, they'll have a, 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 a fee schedule based on how much it's going to cost to, you know, replace materials. But that's, I mean, that, that's totally fair. Um, and then where sh uh, this one is today, and it's like coding and stuff. So a lot of those are like free workshops. Yeah. So it, and it really it really depends on the group. I mean, some some groups, um, if they have a, a sponsorship, it may not cost anything. I mean, they may just be trying to get the community involved in new in new STEM stuff and and uh, and new training to promote interest. And I know, especially the ones for the kids, they tend to be uh, free or cheap. So if if uh, if it's geared towards um, if it's geared towards kids, it tends to be a lot a lot less less expensive because you know they they want at least the, they want the kids to experience stuff like that. So it's like Twitch in real life. It's exciting. I'm just totally gonna half-ass this just because I want to get it on. <laughs> Basically, I just want to get this started. Um, is it la does it last week? No, 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 no. Um, uh, most of these are like single day events. 
Um, and then there's also the week, the weekly meetings like um, our uh, Blooming Labs in Bloomington. They they meet every Wednesday night, and so every Wednesday night I think it's like from like six to nine or so or some, something like that. They uh, they they have a, a regular meetup, and if um, and if you want to come and like rent space at other times, you can just like schedule it, and they'll uh, they'll make the um, they'll make the labs available. And so, like, if you want to come in, like, during a not a meeting night and print stuff, which might be a better thing anyway, because, uh, like, 3D printing can take, like, days. So, um, you can schedule time to use the equipment, and they'll come in and they'll let you in and, and uh, get you set up, and you could do stuff, which is really cool. Like, because uh, a lot of the stuff you can, you can make at home and just bring your files in, and then they can print them for, like, the 3D printing anyway. And, we've, and uh, then we have a couple. We have a couple other things like there's a, um, oh, what is it? Um, there, Bloomington's interesting because they have a lot of a lot of different programs for stuff. Plus the libraries, like down in, in Bedford, they have a, um, a joint uh, program with like Ivy Tech, which is the college that I'm going to, and um, you can use a lot of their stuff too. So there's there's all kinds of um, different. Uh, different ways that you could like get a chance to use uh, use this equipment, which is nice. Oh man, that's such a nice little crimp. I have to shear my sheep today anyway. Pie is a complete mess. It's like hilarious, and so I I, I really just need to need to get this done, and then I need to find some time to go to go shave sheep because he's all pissy at me right now. He's been trying to like to like scratch his wool off because he's shedding. So now that the weather's finally warming up, I need to go. Uh, go put a harness on him and, and go shear him. And then I'll have all my nice naked sheep again. I don't know if that wool is going to be any good. It's going to be like purely core wool because this time of year it's like just yucky. So I'll have to see if any of it's salv salvageable. But yeah. Yeah, see these are kind of all like slightly different length leggies. So I'm going to figure this out. trying to lock this in so it doesn't So did you want to try felting tofu cuz I I saw you were you were you were contemplating it over on on Bench's channel <laughs> well, you don't you don't have to do it like on stream, but if you want to if you want to um you want to play with it at some point. Um I I mean, I'll send you some more wool and a bunch of felting needles and I'll, the heck I'll I'll make you a little felting pad. I know. I know Hyper went out and like bought stuff. She's like, "I spent $40 on a kit with a book." And there's a book and I'm like, "Ah, no." And it's like, "Well, how else am I going to learn?" I'm like, "There's tutorials on YouTube." And Bench has these awesome like her I I love her stuff cuz she's really good. I'm like, "Or you could like tell me when you want to learn stuff and I'll do a specific tutorial stream or I'm like, "Ah." I love her so much though. It's like, oh my god, forty dollars. It's like so much to invest. It's a lot of education assistance.
Oh, he's gonna look fuzzy for a little bit. He's gonna be a very fuzzy octopus until he's uh until we start getting some more stuff on. But I mean, I have like like all the colors of felt up there, so I'm gonna um I'm gonna do like I said more more experimentations. He'll be fuzzy for a little bit, and then he'll be less fuzzy. Bunny is fuzzy. Even Bunny's a jerk. Oh, she's mad at me. She doesn't want to. She's like wants a break, and I'm trying to get her to nurse that other baby. But it's okay. I'm gonna get my goats back so I can feed the babies, and then I'll have my goat milk again so I can make yogurt and cheese. Oh, the bunnies? Oh, you kept wandering away. Or, or no, maybe it was Alexander Davenport. Hey, sweetie. No, but yeah, she's totally mean. She, like, I was trying to get this little guy to nurse last night, and she caught him with her foot and get, cut his neck. But, yeah, that's the, um, that's the, the current orphan. So I'm gonna have to hold her down and let this one let this one nurse in a little bit when it, when it's hungry again. In the meantime, um, I went ahead and did a, a formula mix, but the formulas are never as good as the actual mother's milk or goat milk. Mm, sleepy guy, huh? No, good boy. But I'm gonna go um, put him back up and let him sleep for a bit. All right, you rest here, bud. There you go. But yeah, so that's uh, that's what we got. That, unfortunately, he his entire litter was rejected by their mother um, while I was out of town last week. So that that bunny's just a little over a week old. So when they hit about two weeks, their his eyes should open. My my biggest fear right now is I need to make sure that he's eating enough so that he keeps putting on weight because I I've had so many that they hit that failure to thrive and there's really nothing you can do so I just need to make sure that you know he's getting he's getting enough in him and he was kinda hard to get anything in him this morning because she's been a absolute brat she doesn't want to nurse him which I mean it's not it's not it's not her bun so I mean and if she doesn't feel like being a surrogate plus she's just weaned her litter so she kinda needs a break so I was hoping one of the other ones would uh, would have a litter but I don't know if Fufu is actually carrying or not now so and like I said the uh, formula never works as as well as just being on another bunny so I, I may have to swap her out with one of the other ones I have another litter that's about ready to be weaned anyway so I might uh, might put her back outside and then bring the other the other mama bun in and see if I can extend her her uh, lactation just a little bit to get this one through another week or two. Because if I can, as I have them all spaced out, so if I can just get them each to go one extra week. Um, by the time it gets a little bit bigger, then it'll, like, when, I, when it starts on solid food, it'll be a lot easier to manage. <laughs> Have fun, Tofu! Don't work too hard.
I smoked it. Start working on the next bit.
It's Macy's. 
replace friends and family with our biggest oh my God, savings yes. on your favorite brands. Use your Macy's card or savings pass and save an extra 10 to 30 percent, and take 15 percent off beauty with your pass. Seriously? For her, 25 to 40 percent off. Shoes for her, an extra 30 percent off. Our Damask collection, 40 percent off. Don't miss Macy's friends and family. Savings on regular and sale prices. Exclusions apply. Macy's Star Rewards members can earn bonus points towards Star Money. Visit Macy's.com slash Star Money. I'm not even going to be on that much longer. I just need something to listen to, and it's driving me nuts that there's been, like, f I mean, I'm fine with ads, but not, like, four billion ads. And we're getting to that point where it's, like, all the ads.
happening all day. Me too. Let's eat a fajita. Down 99, eat a fajita Thursdays at Beef of Rage. Grilled shrimp, seasoned chicken, or Angus steak fajitas. Just down 99, eat a fajita Thursdays at Beef's.
drifted all the way over there. Alright, it's not after two. I have to... It's after two, so I actually gotta start um, wrapping this up and uh, get ready to go pick up my kidlet. So I got a few things I need to get ready to go out. Yeah, we're coming along pretty good, though. That's yeah, quite quite the octopus shaped octopus anyway. I'm gonna have to build him a little bit of a skirt. I think that'll be just fine. We'll probably start from the bottom up. Make sure it's a little bit loose so it's flowy. I think I'm gonna... I think Noggies is actually like blue on the bottom, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it exactly like squishy. Yeah, I'll probably be pretty close to squishy though. a vent on oh, are they on the same size of all the octopi or do they vary I think that's actually squishy right there I'm just doing some quick research here. Oh my god, there's an octopus onesie. That is ridiculous. I don't know what side of the head the vent's on or if it matters. Octopus anatomy. Oh my god, this just makes me hungry. Looks like they're on the left side. Uh, I want to say left side vent.
Okay. I'm not too much sure how much longer I'm going to be going because I got to start wrapping pretty soon because I got to go um, meet up with my kid in uh, just south of here because we're going to go to um, a Maker Fair at Crane tonight. So, um, I mean, I got a little bit of time. I think she's meeting at like 345, but I just wanted to make sure that, you know, all the animals are in and taken care of before I go. <laughs> that is, is that one of yours? W, or is that a new one? Oh, they did add some new ones, though. <laughs> I don't even know where, where did you, where'd you get that one from? So you can use, wait, how does that work? You can use YouTube, em wait, how, I, I'm so confused. Oh, okay, 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 okay. See, that makes more sense. All right. This orange and this blue. Yeah, and we'll work from there. How's your stuff been going? You been have you been streaming or you you just been like really busy?
Yeah. I hope someone votes on my Twitter poll because I'm going to stream. Just don't know if I want to do Sea of Thieves or WoW VR. I'm I'm interested in this WoW VR game. This this sounds fascinating. Is it like legit Blizzard WoW VR or is it just like an RPG VR? See what I'm doing. I'm stabbing its bottom. What I'm doing right now is putting base layers down just for like skinning it. Ground up room scale VR features huge open world, thousands of student quests, five player group dungeons. Ooh, that does sound like fun. <laughs> Quick, someone get me a vibe. That, that that does actually look really cool. Well, yeah, of course it's foamy because it's VR. What's the um, what's the mechanics like? How do you how do you move forward? And you know, I mean, is it that, that that's the thing is it has to be a really good intuitive flow, just so it feels more natural, I guess. What sucks is that. Have fun, Tofu. Don't work too hard. Oh, I gotta get moving anyway, so I gotta get get ready. I wanted, I was hoping I could get a little more of this skinned. That's okay. I'll, I'll just give me something to do a little later in the week. Because I guess it's like um uh like spell mechanics. Because I'm assuming if it's a RPG, there's going to be like different classes, like like uh 
I guess I guess it's set up like so you shoot your arrows and stuff similar to that that other um, the other archery game and or if you're going to be because I mean there's there's just like if you think about it there's like so much mechanics that that you'd have to do in order for everything to work good work well together. Yeah, because that's what I was thinking. We're like, you know, how do you, how do you, um, how do you cast spells? So I'm, I mean, is it, is it like a VR version of like Neverwinter, where you have, where it's based on like, you know, D and D rules, and you got to, um, uh, you got to like pre prep, or is it more World of Warcraft, which is kind of like this is what you got, and this is what you're gonna, this is your what you can use, or is there is there going to be like gestures and stuff, which would actually that'd be kind of cool too. I might make sure that that um that you save it just because we have uh we got a, the reason that I'm streaming so early is because we're going to the Maker Fair, um we're, we're and uh, also we have a meeting after that so. I might just see, uh, that that is if I get well why doesn't it work for you because we got it working just fine I mean it was it was behaving I thought it was behaving decently when I was over <laughs> poor gamma <laughs> it's because your vibe loves me better it wants to come home with me <laughs> I'm sure it'll work just fine I mean it's it's just you know Oh my goodness, all the dogs. I mean, we got it. We got it working once. It'll, it'll, I'm sure you can get it working again. I mean, it's not like you were trying to stream yesterday during the Twitch apocalypse. Ah, you'll be fine. I don't know, I don't know if you were there for that, but it, um, everyone lost chat for, I don't know, maybe 20, 40 minutes or something like that. And um, whatever crashed, crashed so hard that like new streams couldn't start, and it was it was kind of crazy. Yeah, it was nuts. It was it was uh, at the very end, almost. It was like hour twenty of Nagi was doing a twenty-four hour stream. And uh, all of a sudden, she's like, I can't see chat. And we're like, well, I can see my chat. And then we realized that we could see our own chats, but no one else could see us because it, like, died. And if you reloaded the page, it wouldn't reconnect. And then it just got, it just progressively just, it just crashed hard. Um, but we're not dumb. We got into Discord because we're smirt. <laughs> 
That was fun. Very smart. We were all very smart. We did the smart thing. But yeah, no, it, it was it was salvaged. But at, at at one point it was like of of everyone on my follow list, Nagi was like one of only like four people that were still even streaming, because it just kept it 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 crashed, just kept knocking people left and right. And I don't, I still I got this theory that I, I told you about that. I was like I, I'm I'm convinced that they had a bear a bad core switch or something somewhere because I keep finding that the more stable streaming is uh, if, I, if you hook to Texas. Almost universally it's been, if it's out of Chicago, it's been really bad and Texas seems to, it seems to be the, the Texas uh, ingest server seems to be the most stable so I really wonder if there's not some kind of redundancy issue somewhere. All right, we're coming up on 2.30 now, so I'm going to have to just get this last little bit of stabbing done and then head out. But yeah, so the next thing after this, now that we got kind of that skirt going, I'm going to uh, go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to come over the top and place uh, place the orange skin. So that'll be skinned on top. And then after this is uh, trimmed and skinned on top and this is all compressed down so it's, it's got the shape correct, um, then I'm going to start adding the different colors to it. So it's going to have like, um, like that little guy up there in the corner is with like different spots and specs and stuff, but I need to get a base layer down first. So once the base layer is down, then I'm going to start decorating it. And uh, I need to make sure that it stays a little bit loose just so that we can, uh, I can meld with these, but there we go. So it's going to be a cute little octopus. And once, and once everything is together, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, brush it out and then re and then re, uh, re punch it down. forward this is going to be fun because the ne next bits here is going to be the be this head
Okay, I'm gonna go host probably mini burger in just a second. The problem is I get I get crafting. I don't want to stop crafting. Should I have done that or should I have waited? That's a good question. Don't know. Okay. Okay, okay. I gotta get moving. I gotta go get moving. Get moving. I'm gonna go ahead host mini real quick. My doggo is passing next to me. Aww. I have a bunny behind me. I gotta feed it real quick. But yeah, there we go. So we've uh, we've begun we've begun the octopus. We started a little octopus. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, talk is on. Is talk on? Yeah, talk's on. I want to see how far talk is in. I might just go host. I might just go host talk. Just cause if you haven't if you haven't watched talk stream yet and talks up like being talk, you shouldn't. You need to do that. Uh, I'm guessing he may have just started. He's either just ending or just starting.
I know he hasn't been feeling good. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. <laughs> Nerds and Crafts is also on. She's fun. She knows a little bit of tech too, so she's also fun. And the mini stream is always entertaining. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and host talk, and I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you uh, later. <gasps> oh dear. <laughs> 